Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of my F1 2013 co-op let's play. At the moment we are in Melbourne and about to start the race session. We start from first place and the amazing thing was that my team was able to pick, uh, pull off a 7th place qualifying. So if we look at the standings here we are standing in first and NC Mike is going to start in 7th place. So we're both in very good positions here to actually score some very good points. So we're just going to go straight to track and hopefully we'll have a good start and be able to pull this off now race distance is currently on 25% um, so hopefully our internet will be able to cope with that and not drop out at any stage so here we go we've got Raikkonen right behind us there he is and then NC Might is also on my side, so he's got the nice gold and black helmet. Mine, of course, is the Union Jack. Right, here we go. Right, so we've got uh, plus one lap of extra fuel. So, here we go. Ferrari is coming down on the left-hand side. And I've been squeezed out. Oh, Jesus. Very aggressive AI at the moment. He's able to hold it, however. All the cars now coming on down the long straight. Hammer it down to the second gear as you turn in. I'm trying to take it easy on the first lap. I don't want to overdo the car too much. Because we know we've got the extra car pace. We just need to take it easy, let the cars get into the rhythm, get a nice, nice optimal temperature along with the engine. And then, once that's all done, we can start to push away. We've already got a slight lead over Raikkonen. That's because he's fighting with Massa. But he is still in the DRS zone, so we want to try and get out of that as, much, as fast as we can. NC Mike was in third place at one point, but then he dropped out. Um, so I'm not sure what, where he is at the moment. How far away is Raikkonen? He's 0.6 seconds behind. So a bit too close for my own comfort. NC Mike is in sixth place overall. So he's moved at one position from his starting place. Fingers crossed we can get an early constructors lead. I still got 1.5 lead over Raikkonen now, so we really need to increase his gap. Um, and that gives him good position to hold off and win this Grand Prix. We've already got a 2.8 second lead over Raikkonen. Driving as well as I've ever seen. This is exactly what we need until the end. He's not going to get any DRS. Well, not from me, anyway.
And they're settling, settling in nicely into rhythm. NC might have dropped down to 18th, so clearly something's happened there. Don't know what though. The fallout's into this Grand Prix. Clearly that indicates to me that he's had an accident somewhere along the lines. My tyres are pretty worn down at the moment. So we've got a fairly decent lead over Raikkonen now. So if, as long as we don't make any major mistakes, we will get our first um, victory for the McLaren team. Go into our pit stop now. Oh, going to the grass a bit there. Mercedes have gone with the prime tyre of Rosberg's car. He's going to be out for a longer period of time before pitting again. Oh, slight bit of lag as we come through that sector there. It was, it was okay there, it wasn't a major sector. And we can start to feel the tyres are starting to, gap to the car give up. But well, we've got a 12 second gap so maybe we should ease off a bit. Because these tyres look like they're going to... Yeah, exactly. McLarens aren't very good at saving grit, it seems. But we've hung in there. Now we're going to get some nice fresh rubber for our four-wheel friend here. So here we go, into the pits. Nice, close pit stop. Drop the car and we're up in three seconds. That was a really good bit of a strange exit angle, but okay. Remember to keep 
driver to stay inside the white line or we'll get a penalty. Gotta watch the dial on how cold the tyres are. It's now Vettel that is behind us and Raikkonen is nowhere to be seen maybe Vettel still needs to go for a pit stop I don't know right okay let's initiate rich mode Tiny bit of corner cutting there, don't want that. Slap, I do hope so. Yeah, so there we go, Standard mode then. No, I don't want tyres to fall. Prime tyres confirmed for next pit stop. Right, fuel standard. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Down the long straight now, using the rest of our cares. Thank you. 
Back in, we're stepping out there. Bit of corner cut there, and an otherwise spotless performance. My first mistake, I think, or one of them. <laughs> no, me, I've probably made loads. So, whereas NC might, NC might have made it up to 16th place. Bit of an unfortunate Grand Prix, but um, sometimes just that's the way how it, that's just the way it goes. Sometimes with accidents. Oh, Jesus. And I've had my fair share of crashes. Like that. Sixteen seconds ahead of Riken, or better rather. Maybe Vettel is starting to pick up the pace because he's remaining at that pace behind. He's not 16.8 seconds. So I think we've got a slightly faster pace, but not by much. Two cars going to the pits, that's very odd. Maybe they've gone for the backwards uh, tactic there. I must admit, the uh, the downshift sound that Codemaster have introduced is very, very nice. I think that car's invisible. And it's Chilton. I'm 
and there's Mark Webber as well. Wow. And see right now in 14th place, he's making his way up the field, which is good news. And the Caterham's next. That's quite high for a car like that. He was disqualified. Oh dear, why was that? Oh, we'll ask him a few questions at the end <laughs> of how his race, race went. Flat now. Oh, very wide into the first again. The tyres are slightly worn, but it shouldn't have affected it that much. It's maybe just a bad turn in by myself. Let's take it nice and easy. We've got loads of traffic behind us. That will stop better from overtaking too hastily. We've got a 16 second gap anyway. So let's just come across the line nice and gently. to the last few corners of Melbourne for the last time. What an amazing track. Here we go. And across the line. First place, there we go. Race. Congratulations on the win, 25 points. So, okay, Sebastian Vettel's in first, Grosjean, and then Kimi Raikkonen is Alonso, Rosberg, Massa, Hamilton, Hulkenberg, Cardo, Steele. Um, so, let's have a look what happened to NC Mike. Um, let's ask him. So what I'll do is I'll end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. If you did, um, then please like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Oh, there you go. He says he got a penalty.